Welcome to another segment with Dave and myself, and today we're going to do something that's going to blow your mind. That's an old ancient hippie terminology. In other words, we're going to really impress you. <laughs> Just hoping that we can live up to the hype. <laughs> All right. We have a lot of you out there who are being exposed to smart dust and nanoparticles. And a lot of you think that those chemtrails in the sky are still, you know, uh, water vapor, you know, condensation trails. All right, here in my hand, I have something that's going to convince a lot of you that that theory that you're believing into and holding on to and that illusion that you have, that orgasmically organic concept that you have in your head will expose that. All right, this is a 60X ocular. And what this does is they basically use this to examine counterfeit currencies and stones and jewelry and whatever. You know, trying to find that little 14 carat or 18 carat, whatever. Now, here, I am going to show you something. Something good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is an ocular. This is a handheld portable ocular. You can get this on eBay. You can get it at any jewelry shop. Whatever. Now. You have to set the setting. You set it on the white, you will see the particulates, but they will not be seen as clearly as if you go into blue. Nanu, nanu. All right. <laughs> Remember Mark and Mindy? He knew about nanoparticles. He kept saying it all the time. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that reference is to. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> Are you that young? <laughs> he was an alien that came down and lived with this gal. You know, he's shacking up with her. You know, what like movie? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Oh, I guess you just said it. No, I, no I've never seen it. <laughs> no? Never even heard of it. Nano, nano, gotcha. You know? So I think he was swearing a lot, but that's how, you know, but anyway, but what he was really saying was nanoparticles, nanoparticles, but he was shortening it up a bit. All right, take, take the, <laughs> well, Dave and I were trying to film this thing, and so I got a yellow mark just so you guys can see that yellow mark on my hand. Now, that's not the particulate. That's just a circle that we marked because I got something here. I'm going to double check to make sure. The, the reference point. The reference point. See if it's still there even. Oh yeah, there it is. Ooh. Okay, now, Dave is going to try something. I don't know if we can get it. Can you see it, Dave? That light seems to be very intense on that. Can you pull back? Pull back. I won't lo I'll lose it. You see it? No? I don't know. Alright, well that's okay. It doesn't matter. Well. See if you can try that. I don't think, I don't think it... Oh. <laughs> There you go again, Dave. Is it a little spot? Yeah, it's like a little white spot. It's a oh, yeah, I can, well, I can see a little spot there, yeah. It's a crystalline spot. Okay. okay. Now, the reason why you're using an ocular, because what you're going to do is you're going to go up and down your arm, your legs, chest, if you can bend that way, whatever, have somebody else look at it for you. And you are going to see things that will glow in the dark. You are going to see fluorescent green, opal blue, little tiny wires that are powdered blue powder white blue sorry you are going to see lavender red you are going to see bright gloom uh, glowing orange you're going to see almost like a, a burgundy purple or lavender purple spots embedding themselves into your skin now, I have a 100X, which I didn't bring down, but with 100, because the 100X is just too powerful and the light's very strong, and there's no control feature on that. But with the 100X, you will see between the, the skin pores and the lines, little fine silvery dust. Now, for those of you who don't believe, I issue you a challenge to prove me wrong. How's that grab you? Go we'll get you one of these. It's a $6 investment. Off of eBay, and we do sell them here in the store too. They're like 12 bucks because we gotta bring them over. But anyway, six bucks for those of you in the land of the slave ruled by the depraved that don't believe in chemtrails or smart particles or genetically modified foods. Okay, this is for you. Those of you who have the more gallons issues or the skin issues, and those of you who think you have Lyme, I'd say about 80% of you who say you have Lyme do not have Lyme, you have more gallons. And when you run the ocular over the skin, you may find, to your surprise, how saturated you really are. Now, what are you going to do about it? Because I hate giving you bad news and not giving you some, something positive. 
splish splash, you're going to be taking a bath. And that bath is going to have four components in it. You're going to have baking soda, trisodium phosphate, Epsom salt, and borax. <clears throat> You're going to add a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of all the components in a tub as hot as you can handle it. You are going to put some turpentine in the water, probably about a cat pool, okay? C-A-P, not C-U-P. C-A-P. <laughs> okay, cat pool. You can add other essential oils if you want, like pine or spruce or whatever, or juniper berry. You can do that as well. Mix it in. Good. Tony, we should have done a demo. Have you get in the bath? I up the way. I'll be up the <laughs> butt nude, and they'll say, "Oh look, the guy's gone crazy. <laughs> He's a nude herbalist." Now. <laughs> I can just see the woman saying, "Take it off, take it all off. Here's yeah. five bucks, dog." <laughs> Do that dance. All right. <laughs> That'd be interesting. So no, that way. would be that would bump the views up, eh? Uh, I'll <laughs> say, yeah. X-rated. <laughs> Got kids watching this. <laughs> You just hurt their eyes. <laughs> Damage for life. No, anyway. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Get one of these. Get the bath going. It, and for those of you who have been really super saturated with the thing, you're in a lot of pain. You're in pain in your hips. You're pain down here. Those of you with fibromyalgia may not have fibromyalgia, but a load of more gallons. Uh, I don't believe that a lot of the Lyme people who are saying they have Lyme disease has Lyme disease. I think the majority of you have uh, more gallons, more, ga more gallon contamination. I had a guy contact me from uh, uh, British Columbia, tell me he had been diagnosed with uh, limes and had not seen much results until he saw this site. Now, if you go on my website, look at the script of the show, look at the September 2013 script, and I believe, and when you open it up, it'll be the September 21st script. There's a whole protocol there. For those of you who are in really a lot of pain and, and suffering ex, uh, excruciate, excruciatingly, that protocol will help a lot of you, especially this bath. You may have to take seven baths in a row. And what I mean by that is you, you put the stuff in, you sit in the soap for four, a half hour, come out, drain the water, look at the water, see what's floating in the tub. You think that that would illuminate it off the surface of the water? Oh yeah, it will. It will. You, I've, I've, uh, nighttime, I, I've taken my baths and whatnot, and I see what looks appear, what appears to be flecks. That's not skin cells. Those are not dead skin cells. That is the particulates that you've released from the pores of the skin. When we're talking nano particle components, if anybody tells you that anything nano is good for you, tell them to give their head a shake. We're going to do another segment about nanoparticles and smart, uh, smart dust. And we're going to explain you why you shouldn't be using any nano silver, monatomic gold, or anything nano. Because nano damages, especially for the males, it damages the testicles just like titanium dioxide does. And the sky is loaded with titanium dioxide and nanoparticles, nano silver, nano aluminum, which penetrate the blood barrier of your testicles. No, you don't have to point my testicles. Here. Well, I just I follow motion, so if you point down, I'm gonna look down. <laughs> All the women are saying, "Oh!" <laughs> All right, it can cause testicular cancer because nano silver. I don't think I have a pen. All right, let's say that's your cell. Okay, hypothetically, this is your cell. Nano would be like that. In relationship so if you're looking at my tip of my finger and the, and the it's cell, like a thirtieth of the size that's right. well no not a billionth of all oh, billions. billions okay see okay. we're talking we're nano. talking about a tip of a pen then compared yeah. to that yeah not exactly. even yeah so it's really you have something here no so oh wait here we go magic knife <laughs> all right that would be the equivalent the tip of the knife and it and the jar the, t the head of the jar hmm. this is your cell that's a nanoparticle it's not that one particle gets into the cell. It's a consortium or a conglomeration of particles that get into the cell. And what it does is stops the cells from respirating and replicating. And what happens is because these are smart particles, they have their own program and they continue to run auto, auto, uh, what is it? automatically. Autonomous. Autonomous, yeah. Yeah. Autonomously. Okay, once the programs are set, they just keep on replicating. Okay, and you are going to see that on your skin. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> All right. 
So, get yourself the ocular with the blue light. All right? And then you can take a look. And you can see what's really happening to our planet. Because if this is on our skin, it's on your pets, it's on your gardens, it's in your crop. It's on the food you're eating, the water you're drinking. This is a full-scale, weaponized form of weather modification, and you are being exposed to this. This is literally causing a lot of you to suffocate on a cellular level. So you'll be able to see it with this, all right? So, <clears throat> any questions? Are we good? I'm sure you're going to get a whack load. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. You are just a dissenter. You know, you are a conspirator theory theorist. I guess just to get one off the top, you refer to a bunch of different colors. I'm assuming that's just referring how the light reflects off of different metals and, and different... Could be that. It could be a radioactive component. could be a charged particle that's being charged with the, sm uh, with the smart meters or with the frequencies. Okay, when you look at nanoparticles, like I said, we're going to do something on that. Nanoparticles can be moved with either sound, electrical, or light uh, uh, with frequencies. And they can shift them. One experiment was done where they combined nano silver, nano gold, and nothing happened until they put a ligand in there or fiber. When they beamed it with a frequency, a sound frequency, the gold sequenced on top and the silver sequenced on the bottom. And they were able to bend and move them. This was at the earlier stages of the development of nanoparticle research. Now, they have more, they're programmed. They, they're programmed and they function on that program and they can shift and move as is determined by the program. And they keep on replicating. <clears throat> so, it, uh, you can do the research. Like I said, we will talk about this in some other segment. But in the meantime, the detox element is important. No soy. Anybody that tells you to eat soy has got a bloody rock in their head. Now, if you want to eat it, by all means, knock yourself out. You can eat my share. <laughs> You can eat my children's share, my great-great-grandchildren's share, my ancestral line share. You can have it all, okay? Because they are dusting your soy with nanoparticles. So, nanu, nanu on that one. All right, so again, be aware of what's going on. All right, till the next segment, to your health.